Hello, my name is Russell Boudry, Router Product Manager here at Multicam. And today we're going to start a new video series where I will answer some of your most common questions about RCNC machines. Today's topic is going to be helical rack versus ball screw. Now here at Multicam, we have a lot of experience with each platform, but to understand the issue better, I reached out to an industry expert who's been doing ball screw repair for over 45 years. In my conversation with him, we discussed the different grades of ball screws and ball bearings required to achieve tolerances of one thousandths to ten thousandths and even down into the microns. We discussed complications of ball screw maintenance, whip, and what it takes to get a ball screw aligned properly with yaw, pitch, perpendicularity, and parallelism. Upon completing our discussion of Multicam's four foot to over 40 foot moving gantry machines, he expressed that the ball screw had no benefit over helical rack. He felt strongly that within our industry, the helical rack is more forgiving, easier to maintain, while providing smooth and accurate motion. Today, I'm gonna to demonstrate some of those benefits. Here we have the three different types of uh, motion platforms that we use at Multicam. We have the straight rack, which is defined by the tooth being perpendicular to the uh, rack itself, and then the pinion rolls in and out of each one of these teeth. We have helical rack, where it's defined by the uh, tooth being at a slight angle from the rack, and the pinion, uh, as it goes in and out, actually has more than one tooth engaged at one time. Then we have a ball screw. We still use uh, ball screws for a short uh, Z axis. And inside the nut here has a spiral of uh, ball bearings. And those ball bearings run across this milled race. So here at Multicam, most of our machines uh, use helical rack. So I want to take just a few minutes to focus in on it. And I have a, a helical pinion here and I've taken the time to actually mark this one single tooth to be red. I've also made a perpendicular line across the helical rack so that I can demonstrate engagement. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one tooth and I'm gonna line it up to the rack and then I'm gonna carefully try to rotate it so that you can see that Right here, you can see that the red is over here showing you that I have more than 1.2 to 1.5 engagement. Therefore, I never lose contact at any one time providing the smooth motion necessary for CNC routing. So while I'm here, I wanna point out um, these the fastening locations on this helical rack. So we have multiple locations that then once this is uh, positioned up against the datum that's machined into our frame, it provides 100% security for this helical rack versus when you have a ball screw, it's attached at the ends. So the further it is out in the attachment, the more you're susceptible to whip, especially as you do higher accelerations and faster speeds because of centrifugal force. I'm out here on the Multicam production floor to further demonstrate to you helical rack versus ball screw on a long axis. Now here I have an eight foot ball screw. If this were to be mounted on a machine, it would be fastened at both ends. Now as uh, your platform begins to move, this ball screw nut would accelerate back and forth. And that acceleration, the further this, the longer this rod, is the more it tends to try to whip. Now that whip directly relates to um, vibration in your cut and premature wear on the ball screw and the ball screw nut. Now, here we have the helical rack that's 100% engaged into a datum, all the way the length of the rack. It, on this situation, it has over 90 fasteners holding it in place, providing the security of motion that we need for smooth cutting. My final point of comparison between helical rack and ball screw is on accuracy. Now in the industry there's a perception that ball screw is just more accurate than helical rack. I'm standing here on our Uniport mill being installed 
and it is 13 foot wide, 26 foot long. It's our second one. Our first one behind me is 10 foot wide and 39 foot long. Both of these machine platforms have a linear motion of helical rack. Now, these machines are actually operating in at less than two ten thousandths of an inch. My point is, is you get what you pay for. Helical rack can be absolutely as accurate or even more accurate than any ball screw. I hope this video helps you see why helical rack is a better solution. We talked about smooth motion, whether long or short axis, more than one tooth engagement provides perfect linear transition. The stability of helical allows more control of the acceleration versus ball screw, which is susceptible to whip. Accuracy, which is the sum of machine datums and quality parts like our gearboxes, excellent servos, and the helical racks. All of these are deciding factors into why we use helical rack on our machines to help you produce quality parts. For more information about our machines, visit us at www.multicam.com and click subscribe on this channel if you'd like to receive notifications for new content like this.